everybody. I greatly appreciate you tuning in to my channel. I'm BJ from the 478, and today I want to talk to you about this 1974 Caprice Classic that I'm in here revamping. It's a bunch of stuff I had to take apart and fix in this vehicle. Um, it was a little bit worse than I thought, people, because no two installers installed the same. So a lot of people um, think just because it's playing and it looks nice and neat in front of your face that the next man won't see it. So a lot of times the people are naive that, that you're going to be the only person that sees your work and your work is your livelihood, especially if you take pride in your work and this is what you do for a living. So let me tell you what I do for a living. This is what I do for a living. This is my career and my career right now is to fix other people's mess ups and mishaps. So um, let's begin here. Um, what I have, I, I replaced um, the Miz and Highs amp and I went with a VFL. I kept his MD um, uh, 12K, um, uh, reason in being that was a new amp and he also purchased the Retro 56 Pro. Um, well, the problem was with that was you had amps over here and then you had this big amp right here just laid and throwed over here in the corner and this right here on the side of it and i'm like what's really going on that's a fire hazard that's that's but the number one thing so i got everything out of here took all those bad wires and then i'm in here getting ready to run rcas and i built a new battery box got new grounds they're chassis grounds too so these actually run back underneath the car so i got two more i'm gonna put on here as um, soon as I put some some ends on it, and I'll be putting heat put some heat shrink on that, and I'll and I'll bolt those up to the bottom of the frame. So long story short, I, I think I'm getting somewhere. So I pull the back seat. I'm gonna go ahead and run some new RCAs. I, I refuse to to hook anybody else's RCAs up. I, I don't know if they got a short in them. I don't want to find out. So long story short, I get that done, and I. I pull that back seat and I'm like, well, damn. So, it this was a, a absolute nightmare. Um, I'm surprised it didn't catch on fire. And you had more black tape and just wires, you know, a positive in the ground put together with black tape. And that's a no-no. I mean, I, I don't know why um, this generation does this or certain installers do it, but instead of making a ground somewhere back here, you know, and grounding these lights, they want to run a positive and a negative with speaker wires all the way through the vehicle. And one day, and, and, and not even good speaker wire. I'm talking about the Walmart stuff. It ain't nothing wrong with Walmart, not bashing Walmart, but yeah. And but they want to get paid. I'm talking about they want they, they people charge a lot of money to do this stuff. That's one screw in that speaker back there. One screw in the speaker here. Yeah. Um, wonder why it's cutting off because the daggone positive and the negative the positive is touching the daggone frame you know people and installers they need to take more pride in their work that's the reason why it's here and guess what I'm gonna fix it come on man yeah so I'm pulling out all this stuff. Can't use none of this wire. I guess I'll make my own. I can't use any of these RCAs. Um, long story short, people, this is not a bash channel. I don't bash, but I do not like this at all. And, and I'm gonna tell you how much money he's got invested in this. You see this? This supercharged Cadillac motor, painless wire harness. Everything in there is gorgeous. 
Now it's back out down here to little old me because this stuff is cutting off and I'm like this, nah bro, we're gonna pull it all out. We're gonna redo it. I'm not doing anything majorly crazy back here, no crazy design. I got the, the box, um, it's, it's being sprayed, Linex right now. Um, but I'm not doing anything crazy. I got a picture of the old console I took out of here and it was terrible. Um, you know, and when I say terrible people, that, that thing right there was, was atrocious. And I want to say it was actually probably not as bad until they added this unit in here. And that just offset that console so bad and they just tried to shove it in here. But when they added, uh, I want to say that retro air and all that good stuff, um, you know, that console that was actually uh, pre-built before this was added on, um, probably fit up there a little bit better. But so what I end up doing, and I got pictures of it, I end up chopping it down, um, taking some measurements and redoing a whole console because Brad, it wasn't no fixing that. One. So, long story short, um, this will will be the first wave of what I have going on with it. Um, hopefully, I can get some more wiring done today. I'll go ahead and um, um, even this right here, even with the text flex. See this wire right here. I'm not going to be able to use this because it's not OFC. Um, corrosion gets down into it and guess what happens it turns around and you're gonna have shortages speakers aren't gonna work and then they're gonna be right back at me because they pay me to fix it so all that wire all those old RCA's everything like that of nature is coming out all new hot wires and distribution blocks are going in and I'm gonna keep it 100 with him and give him what he pays for um, also on these panels they weren't looking that bad until I took them apart. And even in the rear, they, they didn't even give him an option to have speakers in this. They just like, why you waste your time to even do this? So we're gonna, I'm gonna turn around and I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some speakers in it and get it going for him. Didn't understand that one, but to each his own. Um, these turn up, these, these were nice, you know, they're, they're edge lit, but then they, they, they foul up and hit a home run with the tape and just all this stuff just everywhere. I'm like, come on, man. Be good at what you do, people. And if that's your best, then that's your best. You know what I'm saying? I guess I get held to a different standard than the rest, but like I said, I want your vehicle to be like what I would put in my vehicle, but with your budget, you know what I'm saying? So so if you get what I mean, um, I'm gonna give you what you asked for. I'm gonna give, give you a budget, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give you a price point, and then you're gonna say yay or nay, but then I'm just not gonna slack on the work. The work ethic is, is gonna be 100 on, in my book. Now, I'm not saying I'm the best. I'm not saying I'm better than anyone else. It's that I love what I do. And I'm gonna do and give you what you pay for. I'm not gonna hide something and wrap some tape around it and get it done and, and take a, a three day job and have it done in two hours. Not gonna do that. So long story short, I'm BJ from the 478. Um, stay tuned because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna do this next video. Um, hopefully I can get it done either tomorrow or next Sunday um, because this one's going to the classic. So I'm gonna have it done. Um, I'm almost done with, I, I need to finish wrapping that console. So I'll hopefully get over there and wrap it tomorrow. Um, but I'll go through and I'm pulling out all these wires today. I'm gonna start rewiring everything and that way when I come back tomorrow I'll put carpet back in um, I'll, I'll I already have the wiring done I'll slam the console back in and then I'll plug fire back up to this amp and this um, retro 56 back here and then we're gonna get some sound but long story short um, any installer I'm not bashing you you know who did this I mean if you see this 
and you watch this video, you, yeah, man, this this is my work. Just just be mindful, man. You're not gonna be the only one that ever sees your work. So, like I say, stay tuned to my channel. Please like and subscribe. Please share this video. If you like anything else I do, you can check out other videos on my channel. I'm constantly working on these cars. They are my number one and one of my biggest um, brought to vehicles to my shop in my area. So you can always reach out to me. You can you can drop ship me your car. You can we can make shipping arrangements. Um, they're coming from all over. I have two more coming from one from New Mexico and one from Colorado. They're loving it out in the West. I don't know who's doing what out that way, but evidently I'm doing something right. So people like and subscribe and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.